Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome, welcome to my winter hair. If you don't like this color, rest assured, dye doesn't stay in my hair for very long. In a week, I'll be blonde again. So today officially starts my birthday week. My kids love when I talk about my birthday week and how it's almost my birthday because on my birthday, I like for everybody to do what I want to do. That's all you I do. You do what you want to do every day. <laughs> oh, it must seem like that. But it's because I'm the one that sets the rules in this house. I'm the one that like plans everything in this house. But anyway, I'm starting my birthday week off right. Yesterday I was craving something so much and nobody else likes it in my family. But Sam came home from the grocery store with it. I'm going to show you guys. Welcome to my birthday week celebration cake. So it's a little tiny Christmas cake with cherries and nuts. And I don't know what else they put in this stuff, but mmm. And I like the dark one, and I like the one without the icing. I don't really like the icing. It's my favorite kind of Christmas cake, and this is pretty heavy. But I'll eat this whole thing through the course of this week. And it will be the only Christmas cake that I eat for this whole winter, but man, I love me a good Christmas cake. It was like $8. Yeah, it was $8. 65% fruit and nuts. 65% that's my favorite anyway comment below if you like Christmas cake or if you don't most people don't but it's my favorite I also really love how cute this package is how little it is and I don't know everything about this cake makes me excited and that's how we're meant to start every single day you guys we're supposed to wake up and find something to be happy about we can't rely on other people to make us happy we have to make ourselves happy and sometimes Finding happiness is finding happiness in little tiny things, even little tiny Christmas cakes. It is 55 glorious degrees out here, you guys. 55. So warm. It's like yesterday I was wearing a hoodie, freezing. And today I'm wearing just a sweater. I'm out. Actually, it's cold in the wind. Anyways, I'm out to do a check on the horses. So I can tell if the chickens are doing okay or if they need something. If the chickens or the ducks need something, they are like screaming the house down. If everything's quiet, they're good. Oh, come on, Ellie Belly. I don't like to go into the barn empty handed. But like I said, I'm always afraid there's gonna be a mouse in here. The barn is actually spooky. Hi, lady, ladybug. Oh my gosh. That feeder that Sam made, made, it looks like it's fallen over. Don't go over there, Ellie, stay. Hi, what, you think I have a treat? Is that what you're thinking? I don't have any pockets, this is gonna suck. You know, we have enough cameras around this property that I could just check on everybody by looking at the cameras. But unless I like physically see them, I always worry. So I'm enjoying my new phone a lot. I haven't really had an opportunity to like go out and take pictures and videos and stuff to see if it works. So I'm gonna do that today. <laughs> Hi, fancy meeting you here. Did I not just see you a second ago in the barn? Oh, Penny, why you gotta be so dirty? Anyway, the farrier is coming this week to put on Lady's Lost Shoe. Wait, 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 wait. You have to kiss me first. What's the rule? You have to pay a tax. Kiss me. Kiss first, look. Uh-oh, it's because Storm's coming. You go over there. <coughs> Oh my gosh, I just gave Storm a treat before her and she threw a fit. So the good news is, is oh my gosh, she's so mean. It's like Storm came too close and took away her spot, so then she's mean to Lady. The good news is that Storm is not getting out of his stall anymore, it's just his stall. Just his stall that he can get out of. All right, I'm gonna try and take some pictures with my new camera. Now that I've got everybody upset. Kiss, right here, right here, kiss. Do you give me a kiss? Oh, storm's coming again, oh my gosh. Do you guys remember when I said earlier today I could tell the chickens were good because I haven't heard them all day? Well, I haven't heard them all day. And now my overactive imagination is going crazy. I haven't been in the coop. We do our chicken chores at night. I haven't been in the coop all day. And now I'm paranoid that they're all dead. Like, what are the chances? You think that could happen? Usually I hear the ducks by now. So we're gonna go out there and waiting for Sophie and we're gonna check and see if they're okay. I literally have never not heard them at least once in the daytime. Oopsies. 
I know, this is their problem. We try and carry so much stuff. All right, so I haven't heard the chickens all day. I heard the dogs yapping. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I heard quack, quack, quack. All right, let's go. You know what, I want to Whoa. spill water, then fall. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to do that too. I that, that make a funny video, Sophie. <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. All right, you guys, the moment of truth. Cue the dramatic crew. Cue. Oh, I hear a duck. Cue the dramatic music. Uh oh. Girl. Well, the ducks are alive. Oh, I heard a turkey. Oh. Oh, they're all sleeping. But first, we have to give everybody fresh water and fresh food. I know, Dad's nice feeder that he made is not standing up. Yeah, all right, it's not that nice, but he tried. He did better than I could do. Hi, honey. Just little there. So it's that time of year, and deliveries are coming every day from Amazon. Okay, and I we. Can't. I used to connect people in Roblox, <laughs> so it's not my fault. I think that way. <laughs> it's just got my brain, you guys. So she. No, Roblox ruined me. Whenever I see people walking, I like hit them. Well, you scared the my car and roast it. Scared the goats. All right, so chicken chores are done. They're the worst. They take the longest time. Goats and horses so fast. It takes you so long. <laughs> what was that? So a farrier is coming in a couple of days, Sophie. Coming by the end of this week. I'm so excited. Poor lady's probably excited. Come on. Go, trailer. Sock him. You just want to drive in and ride on the in the outdoor? Yeah. I loved when you did that. Also, um, I'm just gonna try around on a loose rein till she figures out to go slow. Yeah, that's I perfect. Feel like doing that. Okay, so here's a weird story. Girl, I know this bus all the way up. We use it during the day. Don't talk. Okay, so people are talking in the comments about how rude you are and how you talk so sassy. But here's the thing. That's not me being sassy. I can be a whole lot. Yeah, of like she's not trying to be rude or trying to be sassy. She's talking sarcastic, and she gets that for me. And I understand that language. I speak that language. Oh um, wait, this was full, and now there's not even a quarter left of it. What we fed them breakfast. They don't need that much. And that's the great thing about parenting is that. You get to raise your own kids so that they're like you. And I like that she's like me. And I understand all the things she says and she makes me laugh. All right, but my battery's gonna die and I have to tell you guys something, and this is serious. What I are you doing? This. I'm trying to open the door. I hate that door too. It doesn't work. Check their water. It's clean. So basically, you guys know how I said like I'm ready to end the vlog forever because Mostly it's just me, sometimes Sophie, sometimes Sam. Gabby's like quiet, she doesn't really do much. But occasionally she shows up. And that's fine, there's no pressure. Like I don't want anybody to be in the video. Like I just want them to be in it organically. I just, if they show up, then they can show up. But there's only so much I can video. So anyway, I put it out into the universe and I say, God, like this is what's on my heart. I feel like it's time. So how my spirituality works, I'm just sitting here with Posey while I chat with you guys. How my spirituality works is that I tell God my plans. Oh, oh my gosh. She wanted to go in the opposite direction. She ran me over. She had pretty much pushed past me and I almost fell over. Her butt is big. She's got a big butt. <laughs> what are you doing? Eat at the spot she wants to eat. Where does she want to eat? She wants to eat on the side of the bucket that's water. I don't know. Anyways, how my spirituality works is that, oh God, she's coming over again, is that I tell God my plans and then I wait and be quiet. Then I'm, be, then I'm quiet and patient and I wait and I let him tell me what he thinks and I know that's a really hard concept for a lot of people but for me it works and I feel that God talks to me in my dreams he sends me dreams and I spend literally most of my nighttime sleep I dream something and then I wake up and then I try and like figure out the dream for a half an hour and then I fall back asleep and then I dream something and then I wake up and I'm like oh I just dreamed blah 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 
and I'm very in tune to my dreams and they always come true. Most of the time they come true. Like I dreamed four days before I fell off Stella and shattered my pelvis. I dreamed that I fed that I was gonna fall. And then I dreamed a head injury and then I got a concussion with Thin. Those were not my favorite dreams. But I, I put it- I would stay away from the end. <laughs> Oh, but that's what's weird. Like I dream it, but then you think, oh, it's never gonna happen. Or like something overcomes me and I just go near animals anyway. Sophie said, if I had those dreams, I'd <laughs> stay away from animals. For a week at least. <laughs> Anyways, I did that. And I, it's been like a few weeks now and I keep telling God, like I think I'm ready to be done. And every time I bring it to God, I dream that I'm not ready to be done, that he has something in store for us that I need to have the videos for. And I suspect it's like that I'm gonna meet somebody and I've met some most of the most amazing people in my life. Like I've met, like I can, you know how when you meet someone that shares a similar spirit that you do, that you just connect like last weekend or a couple weekends ago, I met two amazing women that I just loved them. So, that's how it works for me like I keep telling them God I think I'm done and he keeps saying no <laughs> you aren't done he just gives me all these dreams and in every dream like all these things that are gonna happen in the future all these dreams that he sends me I'm videoing the whole part of the dreams I'm videoing all of it and I'm like but wait I don't want to do that anymore I think I'm done and and he just keeps sending me more dreams like every day I dream that I'm not done and never before in the history of my life have I dreamed the same thing over and over and over and over so many times. I feel like God's telling me that it's not time for me to be done. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest that I change our upload schedule and see how he handles that. <laughs> I don't know. I know it sounds crazy. I do know it sounds crazy, but I believe my spirituality is so strong and I believe it's so strong. Like I always listen. If I can hear a message from God, I always listen. And just, crazy. And yeah, they all think I'm crazy, but you should know that when I dreamed me falling off the horse, it wasn't me saying, it wasn't him saying, Oh, don't go on a horse. You're going to fall off. <laughs> so, when I say I always listen, I listen. <laughs> I'm just not that smart. Anyway, whoa, turn it back on. I'm probably leaving really now. Yeah, anyway, this is probably a short video. But I wanted to share that with you. But I wanted to share that with you guys. So I don't know, like, what's going to happen. Like, I love making the videos. It's so fun for me. I just am struggling with, with stuff to video. Like, maybe you guys should comment below what you want to see. And maybe I can start fresh and I don't know. I don't know, like once it gets cold, I don't come outside as much. And that really kinda is, makes it harder to film. We do have some things coming up, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're